Hello folks and welcome to your afternoon White Hot video weather briefing on this Thursday the 20th of April. I'm day weather meteorologist Mark Hewer. We'll see still cold temperatures with snow showers dotting the landscape through tonight. Calendar says mid-April, but temperatures and weather conditions more like early to mid-March still. And we'll see some additional light to moderate snow than in areas on Friday. A little bit better northwest flow with a little more moisture and energy moving out of the Pacific tomorrow. Strong and cold winds for sections of Wyoming tonight and a Friday, but no high wind events. Temperatures still cold on Saturday with some lingering snow showers, but winds overall light to breezy. Then we'll be dry and warmer on Sunday into Monday. So what is keeping us in this cold weather pattern? Well, we have Wyoming right there in a big trough of low pressure across the central and western United States with a pretty strong low pressure system spinning here over the Dakotas. This low pressure system is spinning cold air down in from the north right across Wyoming, the central Rocky Mountains, and that is keeping temperatures below average. Come Sunday, though, we're going to start to see more of a west to southwest flow here around the region, and that's going to bring in some warmer air as we head into Saturday night and especially Sunday. And Temperatures early next week for Wyoming and the Rocky Mountain West will be near to even a little above average. But through the end of the month, we're going to be staying in an active weather pattern. We're going to be looking at additional storm systems and some chilly and moist ones at that swinging southwest into the region for the next week or two. And that'll keep us in an unsettled and overall likely colder than average weather pattern with some additional periods of snowfall. Here for tonight, some additional light snow and snow shower activity scattered about the state. We'll be looking at some trace accumulations, a possibility in around those snow showers for lower elevations, trace to two inches across our mountain passes and higher elevations. Then the yellow dashed area is still looking at cold and blustery. Northwest winds 15 to 30, some gusts of 35 to 45, light to breezy winds here across the western half of the state. For your Friday, a couple pockets of wind, biggest one out here in the east, southeast, and south central Wyoming. For these areas, daytime, northwest winds 15 to 25 miles an hour, gusts of 35 to 45, then light to breezy winds overnight. A little smaller pocket here in the southwest is some strong west winds on Friday, 15 to 25, gusts of 35 to 45, and it will be throughout these blue shade areas here to the east of the blue dash line. It's going to have some scattered areas of light snow and snow showers on Friday. A trace to one inch will be a possibility, mainly across higher elevations and mountain passes. And then to the west of this blue dash line and to the south of it, some light to moderate snow on Friday. Trace to two inches in areas on lower elevations, two to five inches higher elevations and mountain passes, all of which will lead to some additional slick and icy conditions on regional roadways and for your Friday overall moderate AM and again overnight impacts for your Friday with then generally overall low impacts during the afternoon and evening hours statewide it will be our mountain passes that'll see the highest impacts from the light to moderate snow and also the higher elevations of I-80 for your Friday no big impacts, but do expect some and still some slick and icy spots as you travel about or through Wyoming. Thanks for watching today, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.